Hi guys, welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. A very warm welcome to all of you. And today we're going to be looking at a very special box set that comes all the way from the Natural History Museum in London. And it's this. It's the Dinosaur Museum Collection from Invicta Plastics and could be purchased at the Natural History Museum of London in 1997. So this is an old box set and what's interesting about these 12 figurines that are contained in the box is that they're all to scale. Um, they're all made of solid coloured plastics and you may remember them from your childhood because they were a very popular line of dinosaur figurines when Jurassic Park came out. Now it comes in this very unique box set and it's quite hard to find. I did have a scout online to see if I could find the box set um, and unfortunately I couldn't. All I could find was the Invicta plastic dinosaurs sold individually, uh, quite expensive as well. Um, at the time I bought this it cost £10 and it costs up to that much for just one figurine now. Okay guys, let's get a closer look at the packaging. So here we go, Dinosaur Museum Collection 12 model sculpted to scale 145th um, by the Natural History Museum, including prehistoric world poster depicting 200,000 years, oops, sorry, 200 million years <laughs> of the dinosaur age in chronological order with chart and descriptions. Okay, so let's go over this painting. First, here's an overview of the painting, and it's it's fantastic. It's it's what we're used to seeing back in 1993. These wonderful paintings of prehistoric worlds. Okay, so starting over here, we've got the Megalosaurus there, hanging out by himself. We've got the Scylidosaurus here, just sitting on a, sitting on a rock, admiring the view. And then we've got two Plesiosaurs here, playing around in the pool, and one's got a fish in his mouth, so he's pretty happy. Then here we've got the long-necked dinosaurs, so we've got the Brachiosaurus, two of them, three of them leaning over a Diplodocus. Then we've got a Stegosaurus nestled here between them. And then up there we've got some uh, Iguanodons with their distinct thumb spike. Up here we've got some Pteranodons flying around. Down here we've got a Triceratops. The Triceratops is being eyed up by the Tyrannosaurus Rex. We've got a Woolly Mammoth there. And down here we've got a Glyptodon. So a fantastic picture of this prehistoric world. And at the bottom we've got a size chart, size comparison chart. So we've got a Plesiosaurus, we've got a Scalidosaurus, a Megalosaurus, Stegosaurus, Pteranodon, Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, Iguanodon, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, Glyptodon, and Woolly Mammoth. Okay, and on the side of the box, we've got the same thing again. We've got a, a little small version of the picture, and a picture of the Natural History Museum in London, but I believe this painting was painted in the uh, Victorian era, so it's quite an old picture, but that is what it looks like. And then on the side, we've got the same thing again. Same thing again on the opposite side, and on the other side, same again with the barcode. Okay, so this is very exciting. I haven't opened this in a while. So, and as you can see, they're all in fantastic condition. Um, I obviously looked after this box set. So, inside you can see we've got some solid coloured dinosaurs, and that's the style of the Invicta Plastics dinosaurs. Now, I am going to review each one individually in a short form video. Um, but just to give you an overview of each dinosaur, I'm going to give you a quick turnaround of each one. So here we have the Stegosaurus. So there he is. In a nice sort of sandy skin colour. Then we've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now this one to me is um, iconic. Um, and I'm not just saying that. This is, when 1993, when Jurassic Park came out in 1993, this was the iconic toy, actually. In the UK, anyway. Every kid had one of these. You go to the museum, you buy a T-Rex, and this sort of maroon-coloured T-Rex was everywhere. Um, put a comment below if you own this dinosaur, if you saw it in a museum, but to me, this represents 1993 dinosaurs before Jurassic Park. Okay. 
And then we've got this. It's the woolly mammoth. And they've even changed the colour of the plastic for the tusks. Quite a nice feature. So there he is. And these are all in scale with each other, so that's quite a cool thing. Here's the Scalidosaurus. Not such a famous one, but they I think they put it in for range of scale. Okay, next one, the Plesiosaur. Now this one's really nice, I really like this one, because they made it completely smooth. Um, and that adds to its whole um, sort of um, aerodynamic sort of uh, water freedom. Um, it's just very, very well sort of designed to glide through water. So yeah, that's the Plesiosaur. Really nice. Uh, this is one of my favourites, actually. Okay. Then we've got the Glyptodon. Not sure if it would have lived in the same period as all these other dinosaurs. Um, obviously the, the painting on the front um, is, a, is an imaginative painting and they wouldn't have all lived together in the same time and place. Okay, next one we've got is the Pteranodon, made of a very thin plastic, um, very, very thin, you can see how thin, um, but yeah, very, very cool, and again, this is one of those toys that, like the Maroon T-Rex, um, was sort of very, very popular in 1993, because it was quite cheap as well, so a lot of kids bought this one at the, at the museum because they couldn't afford any of the bigger ones, and by bigger ones, I mean this guy. So, this is the Brachiosaurus, very, very nice. Um, I think it stands up to the Papo Brachiosaurus, but when I do an individual review, I will uh, compare this one with the Papo Brachio. Really nice detail, um, very, very famous, again, figurine, one of these ones that a lot of kids had, um, just really, really nice. Okay. And here we've got the Iguanodon in a sort of sandy yellow. There we go. With his very famous thumb spike. Very, very nice. And then here we've got the Megalosaurus. Looking really nice in a sort of uh, darker green. This one's one of my favourites, actually. I really like this one. I like the detail that's gone into the sculpt of this one compared to the other dinosaurs. Uh, this one's really been worked on well. Really good work. So that's the Triceratops. And then last but not least, the Diplodocus. Or Diplodocus, sorry. So there we go. Very, very nice and really long. Look at the length of that tail. And I actually had two of these. I had this one already from my local museum. Um, and they all came in this really nice packaging inside this, with this um, film to protect it. So, these are all in scale with each other, so I can put the T-Rex the next to the Triceratops and they can have a battle to scale. Um, likewise, you can have the Pteranodon um, start to annoy the Brachiosaurus and that would be the correct sort of scale. Um, which is really cool because then you can start comparing like the woolly mammoth with a T-Rex and you can see you know what sort of scale um, they were in relation to each other. So that's cool um, and there's the Stegosaurus next to the Triceratops as well just just to show you. Okay cool so I'm gonna get these back in the box um, like I said, I will be doing an individual review of these figurines um, in short form. Um, so expect to see some of these sort of peppered into my videos in the future. Um, but it's a really, really nice set and I highly recommend getting these, um, especially for young ones. They're a really nice way to, um, to see the scale of dinosaurs in relation to each other. And uh, they just look really good on the shelf as well. I mean, I had these as a kid and it didn't bother me that they weren't painted. That didn't frustrate me whatsoever. Um, so I was really lucky to own these um, back in the day. Okay, guys, did you own this set? Um, let me know what you think of these and rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.